JavaScript is an amazing programming language which can be used to create powerful web applications. In the modern world, if you don't know JavaScript, it will be very difficult for you to create powerful web applications and become a successful web developer. But on the other hand, if you can master JavaScript, it will be very easy for you to create powerful, efficient and smooth web applications. In this course, we are going to cover all the concepts of JavaScript along with my handwritten notes and all the source code which we are going to write in this course will be provided to you in the description. I request all of you to like this video and comment this JavaScript course is helpful down below. This way, my efforts will be able to reach a lot of students and I'll really appreciate it. The first video of this course is going to be introduction to programming and a lot of you might find it unexpected to get an introduction to programming in this JavaScript course. But when we start things from scratch, the experience is really very different, believe me. We'll start from the basics and then we'll raise the bar like anything in our later videos. I can assure you that this JavaScript course is going to be game changing for your career. This is the ultimate JavaScript course. Let's get started. <laughs> So the very first thing that I'm going to do right now is install VS Code which is Visual Studio Code. Let me show you how to install Visual Studio Code. All you need to do is type install Visual Studio Code and you should see this screen. Simply click on download Visual Studio Code and just download it and install it like a game on your computer. I know you must have downloaded a lot of games in your computer. Just install it like a game. After the setup is complete, downloading, simply click on the setup and install it like a computer game as I already told you. Simply accept the agreement, simply click on next and the most important thing, you need to check these boxes. I repeat, you need to check all these boxes. This is really very important. I'll tell you why we are checking these boxes simply click on next install and you should be good to go now note that i already have vs code installed on my machine and running the setup won't cause any harm i'll simply uh, click here because i don't want to launch vs code right now i'll simply click on finish now i'll come back to this folder and you'll see two pdf files these are my handwritten notes which i'm going to supply along with this course all i'll do right now is create a folder with chapter zero Chapter 0 will contain the code as well as the PDF for chapter number 0 and I'll also say chapter 1. Chapter 1 will contain the PDF of chapter 1 as well as the notes of chapter 1. Okay, going back I'll simply open this folder in VS Code. So in order to open a folder in VS Code, all you need to do is press shift on your keyboard, right click and click on open with code. Now VS Code is installed on my machine which is why I'm seeing this option. Remember we checked those two boxes. This is one of the reasons why we checked those two boxes. Now simply click on open with code and you will see this folder opened in VS Code. Now if you are new to VS Code, no problems at all because I am going to show you everything from scratch. And yes, if you already know what VS Code is, what JavaScript is, what programming is, this chapter might be a little bit boring for you but please bear with me and if you listen to me, I am damn sure that you are going to learn something new with this chapter. From the notes, what is programming? Programming is a way to talk to computer. So let us say I want to talk to you. I'll use English or Hindi, maybe Bengali, Spanish, uh, Japanese, or whatnot. Okay, so in order to converse with somebody, we need a medium. That medium is the language that we are talking in. In the same way, in order to talk to computers, we need programming language. So programming is simply a way to talk to computers because we cannot use a mouth to talk to computer. I cannot say, hey, computer, please record this audio. And I even cannot, you know, show my feelings to the computer. And also I cannot express my feelings to the computer. I cannot say, hey, computer, I'm feeling bad. Tell me what to do. It's not going to tell me what to do until and unless we have programmed it to do so. So computer is dumb. It's very dumb. It's just fast with specific stuff of calculation but otherwise it is really very dumb computer is not at all smart when when was the last time you ordered some cereal and got dvds of cereal now let us say you want to order some cereals to eat if you tell somebody hey get me some cereal i want i am hungry i want to eat something and what if somebody gives you dvd of cereal hey this is the cereal 
watch it on your computer but you are hungry you will say hey i was hungry i wanted to eat the cereal i am not talking about the tv show cereal i am talking about the cereal which we eat so computer is a dumb machine in very similar way you need to specify exactly what you want to do you need to specify hey i want to eat cereal so you need to go to the market at this particular shop get me the cereal and then only computer will be able to get the correct thing or the correct task done for you okay now programming is the act of constructing a computer program a set of precise instructions telling a computer what to do so in order to tell computer exactly what to do you need a programming language and in this course we are going to learn javascript which is a programming language used to program websites it can be used in back end it can be used in front end and what not now even you can create desktop application using electron so if i show you electron js you can simply create desktop applications using javascript so javascript is evolving like anything now let's talk about what is ecmascript ecmascript is a standard on which javascript is based so it's basically a set of rules in which javascript is based it was created to ensure that different documents of javascript are actually talking about the same language so if we have a lot of documents and different documents are talking about the same standard in different way it is going to be a problem so this standard was built so whoever is researching on javascript wants to add new feature to the language they can simply come and add those features to ecmascript ecmascript is a standard on which javascript is based so anything we want to introduce to javascript we can simply introduce it in ecmascript standard and we are good to go now javascript and ecmascript can almost always be interchangeably used javascript is very very liberal which means that even if you are not using a semicolon or you are making some very silly mistake it will try to understand what you are trying to say and it will execute something for you instead of throwing an error and stopping everything now how to execute javascript javascript can be executed right inside one's browser so now if i want to execute javascript the fastest way for me to execute javascript is simply uh, come to some tab simply right click and click inspect and i should be able to execute javascript in the console so if i say console.log you don't have to worry about what i am doing i'll simply say hello world and this will be executed here and you will see that hello world is printed on the screen i'm going to explain everything that i did here you don't have to worry about what i did here but the fast fastest way for me to execute javascript is right inside the browser because our browser contains javascript engine which is capable of executing javascript okay now another way to execute javascript is a runtime like node.js which can be installed in somebody's machine and they can run javascript inside of uh, node.js now wh what exactly is node.js so uh, somebody in uh, I, I guess 2000 uh, i don't know node.js i'll show you the history of node uh let me open wikipedia and i'll show you how ryan dahl created node.js and in which year it was created so it was originally created in 2009 so what this guy basically did was he took out the javascript engine from the browser and put it inside a c++ program which was capable of executing javascript outside of the browser now node.js can be used to run javascript outside of the browser i'm not going to go into details of how node.js was created and all let me come back to the topic which is javascript now node.js can be used to execute javascript okay so in order to install node.js you can simply go to google and simply type install node.js and this might sound haunting to some of the people because they must be like hey this is my first programming language i have never ever heard of programming and you are making me install so many programs do not worry simply install it for your operating system if you're on a mac simply install it for a mac if you are on linux you can even install node.js for linux okay now i am going to simply run this and next 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 and it should simply read the license agreement I've, I've read it believe me next next and you can simply click next do not check this simply click next and install okay now it will ask you for some permissions and you should be good to go okay now this will install node.js on my machine and i'll show you what will happen you can simply right click on your uh, windows icon and go to windows partial and let, let, let me close this at this point i want to wait for it to install first now it has been installed so i can simply go to partial and i can say node and i can basically use javascript here so this is a javascript runtime i can say 
hello like this okay so this is how we can actually run javascript outside of the browser okay i hope this was not haunting i hope everybody was able to install node.js and i hope that you enjoyed what we did in this lesson we have a long way to go a very long distance to cover but believe me this journey is going to be fantastic we'll go to the next chapter and after going to the next chapter we'll understand what variables in javascript are we are going to understand the programming basics using those concepts that we are going to learn in the coming chapters now there is one more line which i wrote here yet and the way to execute javascript is by inserting it inside script tag of an html document so if you put a javascript code inside script tags it will actually execute in the browser we are going to see all these things in the coming lessons i hope this was not haunting and i hope that you were able to understand what we did in this lesson so i'll create a javascript playlist and i'll link it in the description as well as in the pinned comment i want all of you to access that playlist so that we all are on the same page so that you are able to access the course in a very systematic manner down in the description will be links to download this pdf you can simply download this pdf and this will be all yours so yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time